Turkey's art world is a predominantly male industry, but one refuge has been the Turkish National Technical Institute. It's been a place where women, especially those from poorer socioeconomic backgrounds, could get their start. Well, showcases Nursan Atutar attended an exhibition there to see how through education and hard work, female artists here in Turkey are trying to get ahead. It was two decades after the establishment of the Turkish Republic that an institute was born. Despite the nation's battles and ongoing challenges, one remarkable woman founded the Turkish National Technical Institute in 1945. It was aimed at empowering young girls and women with skills like various arts and crafts so they could build a career and earn wages. Offshoots of the school spread throughout Turkey, providing teaching but also employment. Many students came from poor families. Through apprenticeship, thousands sewed, knitted, painted and crocheted items to wear, while a range of home decor and art also emerged. It wasn't long before these women started getting commissions from royalties and celebrities all over the world. This is not about fashion or art, not really. This is all about empowering women and giving them choice. For decades, this institute has been providing women with artistic and technical education so that women can decide how to thread the life they want for themselves. Fast forward to today, the institute is celebrating how far their alumni have come with an exhibition in Istanbul. I love how Turkish women have always been brave and found a way to raise their voices to tell their side of the story. Back in the day, even living in a patriarchal society, a young woman would put a pepper-shaped pin on her scarf to express her frustration over an argument she had with her mother-in-law. Everyone knew what that pin meant and she wore her statement on her head valiantly. So the institutes are trying to tap into that courage to find new ways to express ourselves. And we're going to do that by being ourselves, not trying to imitate the mainstream trends in the Western world. They also declared a manifesto with 10 articles, with the emphasis on the importance of representing the unique motifs each region has. The Minister of Education and the First Lady of Turkey attended the opening, and both talked about how people all around the globe are bored of seeing multiple copies of the same thing everywhere and how much more valuable a unique piece can be. These works done by the Technical Institute students are like endemic plants that can only exist in one specific geographical region. The motives and the art behind them are special to our lands and they represent both the past and the future of our culture. Soon enough, we'll be hearing that the alumni of the Institute are working at an international scale all around the world. We are training qualified and experienced young people who can offer a fresh perspective to the human resource needed in the sector. The mission of the Technical Institutes is to revive the cultural values and become ambassadors of region-specific heritage. The works on display are a mixture of old and new productions. Although they're quite different from one another in quite a number of ways, they all have one thing in common. They're the voices of women's resilience and creativity. Nursan Atutar, TRT World, Istanbul.